So I'm going to talk about the lovely example of paper hands. And as a car store owner, we all know paper hands. It's the guy that comes in the beginning or middle of the month and they spend a lot of money opening cards. And you tell them, hmm, you know, I've seen you before and I kind of know how this ends. Are you sure you want to buy this box of cards? Because if you open it, looking for the Chase Magic, Flesh and Blood, Code Foil, whatever you're looking for, Luca card, it's very unlikely that you will make your money back, especially if I were to buy the card back from you as the store. It is almost impossible for you to make buy list back, which is the amount that I as a store would pay you for the card. So do you want to open it? Yep, yep, I want to open it. I just got paid, you know, I feel good. And then at the end of the month or very beginning of the next month, they have to sell their these new cards they just opened for 10% of the price they paid to make rent, to pay electricity, to pay their auto loan, to pay their payday loan. And I see this time and time again, and I, as a good human being, you know, always tell them, no, I'm not going, you know, this, you should not do this, you should not do this. But no matter how much I tell this uh, addict, essentially, that, hey, you don't need to buy this box. You can buy these singles, you know, you can, there, there's so many other ways for you to do this more logically than buy a box, hope that you open the card that you're looking for, that the most valuable card in the set, if you will. But they never listen. They never listen. So this is my version of paper hands. And if you look at when collection, so like when I was running my store, we were never open in the middle of the month. We would only open in the end of the month. So the last week or the last few days before the month ends and the last few days, the first few days of the month. So, you know, let's say the month has 30 days. We'd definitely be open 28, 29, 30, first, second, third. And within that one week span, right? It's not exactly a one week span, it's whenever those dates fall, you will get two dozen massive collections come in the store and they could be comics, they could be Yu-Gi-Oh! I don't always understand what it is, but I'm always interested. I bought Yu-Gi-Oh! collection not knowing what Yu-Gi-Oh! was, but you know, I, I had the feeling that this was a nice collection and I'm glad I have it because it reminds me of my childhood and it's a lot of the cards that I grew up with. So I was like, okay, worst case scenario, I paid $4,000 for something that I enjoy. We bought um, a bunch of Warhammer, again, they were really well painted. I thought they were a good deal, but again, I don't collect Warhammer. Uh, recently, I mean, we buy anime figures, but that's something that I know about. So these collections are paper hands. Somebody purchased them came upon hard times, which uh, hard times are coming. I don't know why people are not talking more about recession, at least in this card community. But if you talk about what factors can affect my card price the most, a recession would be number one. If there's a recession, then luxury products will not be purchased. Now you might say, oh, well, what about the COVID-19? What about those? We had so much stimulus money. Let me, people think the stimulus check was a lot of money, 1400, well, I, I didn't, I don't, 1200, I don't know how much it was because I didn't get it. But imagine the amount of money, the trillions, you know how billionaires are evil to like AOC and, and, and that group, Bernie, even though they are millionaires themselves, but billionaires are the evil people in our society. A trillion dollars is a thousand billionaires and they print that money like candy. My neighbor, he stole $1,600, $16 million from PPP loans. Go on the news. <coughs> You're catching people left and right for PPP loan fraud. And these people are not taking $1,400. Let me tell you that. They're taking $14 million a pop. So we were in a time where Dallas and cards were really, really hype. And the reason it was hype because there was just so much money in the system. If you own a company and you took... $16 million PPP loans, yeah, what, what's a $10,000 card to you? I mean, you're 16 million, you didn't do anything. You just applied and they gave the government just deposited $16 million in your bank account. What are you gonna do, you're gonna spend it. I remember the first time the Lamborghini store didn't, in Houston didn't have any Lamborghinis anymore. They sold out in one day. As soon as the PPP loans dropped, the first set of PPP loans dropped, 
Everyone went to a Lamborghini store and bought every single Lamborghini they could find. Some people, like my neighbor, bought two of them because one was not enough. And he paid over the sticker price for both of them, as he would proudly said so on his Instagram. That's not happening anymore because unfortunately we cannot print as much money as we did back then. And we have a better understanding of COVID. Uh, we do have a war in Ukraine right now that is progressing along. Uh, and that's another reason to print more money, I guess. But paper hands. The reason that people have paper hands is very simple. We're going into a recession. You're going to need that money for toilet paper. You're going to need that money for food, electricity. I, I read you a list of things that went sky high in price. Things are massive. The, the reason things are really expensive right now is because supply chain issues. So that thing, even if, you, even if you had the money to buy a new car, there are no new cars to buy because supply chain issues. The semiconductor chip, which is still somehow broken. I don't know why they haven't been able to fix it in two plus years, but they haven't. And if you wanna buy anything else that you need to survive, food, food, I just read you, you know, products, eggs, 13%, dairy, dairy, like any of these things are more expensive. Gas, you might be like, oh, what does gas have to do for transportation? When the Amazon people deliver the stuff to you, the price has to go up more because guess what? Like this would be pretty obvious. Amazon needs gas to fill its trucks with. So any good is going to go up in price as long as gas goes up in price because all these goods needs to be transported. So long story short, not many people are talking about recession. Everyone's still, you know, paying for their monthly services and their monthly market mover apps and their monthly, you know, you know, to protect the slab of a slab. We now have a slab protector for a slab. Fantastic. My gosh, the slab itself wasn't protecting protection enough. We now need a, you know, slab protector. We now need to display our slabs in little, <laughs> little tiny. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, I can't imagine. I used to play magic cards without sleeves. I didn't, we didn't have play mats. We didn't have sleeves. We didn't have anything. We just zip lock back, put the cards, put them in the backpack and off we go. Now, like, now, like imagine the kid, the kid's got to get, you know, his slabs, got to get slab protectors, got to have a nice display. He's got to have a play mat, multiple play mats. He's got to get, you know, a Tolarian community college deck box, put all his cards in. He got to get like a Zion case, you know, a briefcase to carry around. You got to be kidding me, right? Man, at least when I grew up as a kid, we didn't have any of that BS. We were able to enjoy our childhood. We didn't stand in line for a uh, Lean Hearts Pokemon thing for 12 hours. I mean, you see how painful it is for the kids. Why would you as a parent bring your kid to wait in line for 12 to 14 hours to get a slightly discounted pack. And maybe it took you 10 hours to drive there. So it took you 10 hours to drive there. Maybe, you know, you get there and now there's a 12 hour line. Now you wait for 12 hours, you get a pack, you don't even get to meet Lean Heart because Lean Heart's too cool for you. And then you go home for 10 hours. <laughs> Just let the kid play Minecraft, my dude. Like, come on. The kid is not into it. I know for a fact no little kid is gonna want that. If you gave them the choice, hey, do you want to pay, play Minecraft and sleep over your buddy for a weekend? Or do you want to come with me? You can meet Lean Heart. They'd be like, oh yeah, let's meet Lean Heart. Lean Heart, yeah, great, great, great. And then uh, you wait in line and there's no Lean Heart. Crushing. But hey, that's what happens when 99% of the hobby are just scalpers and uh, Grown-ups pretending that this matters to their kids. But anyway, hi guys.